Hello and welcome to Steam Series Show from RC Empire, featuring the Mamod SR1A. Now, we took a very detailed look at this and gave it a full service in the last video, so today we will get straight into it and get this amazing Steam engine up and running. So, step one, we want to remove the pressure release valve from the top of the boiler and take your small nozzled funnel and stick it into the top to fill it with water. Next, we want to open up the water level plug from the back of the boiler. You do not need to take it out fully, I will for this video, but it needs to let water trickle out. We then want to take our water and start filling the boiler from the funnel until water comes out from the hole in the back of the tank. And at this point the boiler is filled to the correct level. As you can see, this is room temperature water straight from the tap. And you can see there, water just starting to trickle out from the back. Finally, close the water level plug back up. And screw the pressure release valve on the top nice and securely. And that has sealed the boiler closed. Next, we want to take our spirit burner and our fuel, which is methylated spirits, and slowly pour the spirit into the burner until the absorbent material has fully saturated. And you can see there, we have just reached this point and it's not soaking up any more of the spirit. And take your lighter and light the fluid. This stuff is very flammable and you can't always see the flame burning, so be careful. And we just want to take the burner and put it into the back of the steamroller like that and hook it onto the little tabs. What I also want to show you is how long it will take for the water to boil and what kind of temperatures we will be seeing. So we started off at around 25 degrees. Before the engine gets too hot, I will slightly lift the back wheels off the ground for this static test and later we will show it running on the ground. This hasn't been started for around 20 years. At 1 minute 20, we are at around 45 degrees. At 2 minutes 15, we are at 60 degrees. At 4 minutes, we are reaching 80 degrees and you can just about hear water starting to boil. And at six minutes, we have just hit 100 degrees Celsius and the whistle has just started to work as well. Finally, at just over 7 minutes, we have hit 110 degrees and I think this is about as hot as it's going to get. Let's give it a try, we'll push the stick into forward, flick the flywheel and start it moving. One of the things you'll notice is that it is going very slow in forward. This lever is variable speed which I'll show you later, but it should be going a lot quicker than this. If we switch it into reverse, however, you can see a massive difference in the speed. And we can even slow it down a bit with the lever.
and if I move it round, I can give you a 360 degree of the piston and all the mechanisms. And there, as I mentioned earlier, you can change the speed using the lever. And again, you can see just how high the RPM goes. Okay, so let's move on to some flat ground and see if we can get the steamroller moving. You can see that going forward it is really struggling. But in reverse it is flying. straighten up the rollers and with this new spring we installed last time you can even lock the front rollers and have it going around in a circle. If we zoom in a bit as well you can see it goes up. And we can even open up the turning radius so it will cover a bit more ground. So I'm going to try and see why it's not working going forward, if anyone's got any ideas please post them down below, but that's pretty much it, I hope you enjoyed and saw something new, let me know if there's anything in particular you would like to see, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.